Alrighty guys, time for another mail call. Alrighty, it's Monday night. This should have been out already. So I'm gonna make it quick because I didn't get to my PO box till late today. Um, didn't have a ton of stuff. I actually had uh, someone email me that their package got damaged in transit. So one of the packages I was expecting, I did not get. So a little bit light this week. First one, JW, Coin and Hobbies. Gaw. 50 likes. 50 cents in Constitutional Silver. I chose the quarters because that's the one book that I'm working on this year. So I got myself a 53D and a 64, also a D. Thank you, JW. I appreciate it. Make sure to check out his channel. I'm sure you already subscribed, but if not, I will leave a link below. Um, this next one is actually uh, a purchase. Um, let me grab it out of here because I know that it's in here tight. Um, and this was from a, uh, a state sale. I'm trying to do this one hand, it is rough. Whoa. And this is a um, independence coin. It's uh, from the Bahamas. It's $10. And... It's a beautiful coin. The coin is the $10 independence coin from 1973. The melt on this bad boy is about $41. It is sterling silver. And I picked it up for, I think, $38. But I'm happy to have another Bahama coin in my collection. And at less than spot, it was pretty sweet. This one here is also a purchase. As you know, I'm trying to find one coin from each country. And this one is one franc from Togo. Togo. These are really hard to find, quite frankly, um, without spending a boatload of money. So I've kind of been watching a couple of different auctions and was able to pick this one up at not too bad of a price, $19.24. So, another country down. Um, this next trade I've actually already took out because it was in a flat rate box. This is from my good friend, Bowman 2K. He said, thanks for the trade. I added a few extra items as a thank you. He actually also threw in, out of the generosity of his heart, a 44D that is BU and a 72S proof that he'd found in a box. He said, I found a couple, wanted to share with you. I really appreciate it, brother. He also sent me a couple extra rolls. What He's actually going to be my donator for Arizona. He's been digging for boxes for me now for a couple of weeks. And this is what he keeps running into. Brand new pennies. But you know what? I only get Philly pennies. And these are all Denver pennies. So I said, you know what? I'm still interested in those. I don't have 2020 Ds. Um, that I that are really nice. I want to save them. So I got a box of 2020 D's. I got a box of 2021 D's. And now I've got a nice hoard of pennies. And like I said, he threw in a couple extra rolls so I can cherry pick through here and find nice ones for my collection as well. Thank you, Bowman 2K. I greatly appreciate it. And I really look forward to the circulated box that will eventually end up trading and being able to find some cool things. And last but not least is a box from the Mint. All right, tore into this because, man, I know how these things are packaged. This is... The 
three coin or the three rolls of the airman quarters. It's a roll of S's, a roll of D's, and a roll of P's. And these look beautiful. When I looked at the end of these, I'm like, man, these look so much nicer than even the BU ones that I'm getting. And the bank rolls, they don't have those little nicks and things. Of course, this is in St. Francisco, so it's probably going to be a little nicer simply because it's St. Francisco. But I looked at these ones as well, and they look sharp. So I'm happy I got them. I'm going to end up with some nice examples of this particular design and I'm going to add those two tubes and stash them away and of course the last of the old reverse the 2021 American Eagle from West Point it's a one ounce proof coin And this is a beauty. I already looked. I can't lie. Let's open this up here. But that is one nice looking coin. I've already popped it out to make sure that they didn't mess up and have the wrong back on it. <laughs> Look at that. This is a stunner. And I'm happy to have it. So that's it for the mail call this week, guys. Um, hopefully next week we have more. If you want to send me something, if you'd like to trade something, um, feel free to give me a contact. My information is down in the descriptions. Um, my PO box is also down there. I will be continuing to try to do this each Monday where I will go through the mail that I've got, share it with you so you can see what I'm collecting, what has been sent to me, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for swinging by. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next mail call.